Hi everybody, this is Bogus Reviews, and today I'm going to be doing a throwback Thursday on the McFarlane Toys Twisted Land of Oz Dorothy figure. So before we take a look at Dorothy, let's take a look at the accessory that she comes with. So first up, she comes with this base. This is a piece of the yellow brick road, and this looks very nice. The yellow brick road looks really torn up and dirty. You can see where it's uneven in places. This is sculpted and painted really nicely. I believe all of the uh, Twisted Land of Oz figures just come with the same base. I do think McFarlane Toys missed the opportunity to make them connect, kind of like the Infernal Parade figures. It would have been cool if they would have connected along here, but nope, they don't. Dorothy can stand on the base very nicely. Because of the boots that she's wearing, it's, it's just about impossible to get her standing on her own without that base. The annoying thing is, there's two pegs, but you can't actually peg the munchkins into the base. You kind of just have to have them beside her. So it is unfortunate that you can't actually peg them on there. So before we take a look at Dorothy, let's go ahead and take a look at the munchkins right here. McFarlane Toys did a good job at sculpting these munchkins. The paint detail is also really good. You get some subtle blue paint right there for the veins on the belly and on the forehead there. The hair has a nice brown wash over top of it. You get some, it looks like a brownish color underneath the eyes for the bags. You get a little bit of a wash over top of the fingertips. That looks very nice. Um, I do feel like the hair on the arms, the paint is on there a little too thick. It's a very dark orange. It's really heavy. I feel like it just, it's a little bit distracting. It doesn't really look like hair. The bottom munchkin here, it kind of reminds me of Freddy Krueger, especially from A Nightmare on Elm Street Part 2. The skin is textured and has a nice wash over top of it. You can see the rotted teeth right there, the veins sticking out, the bloated belly. These are two very grotesque figures. Um, I did forget to mention that these actually have uh, cuts here, but they're glued down, so there's no sort of articulation. You also get this brand that it comes with, and this broke immediately. This is such a thin and frail piece of plastic, and I had to glue it because it broke down in his hand. So yeah, definitely be careful if you have this figure breaking this. So now let's go ahead and take a closer look at Dorothy. So taking a look at Dorothy, this is a very twisted figure. She has that leather mask on so she can't see. The stitches are sculpted really nicely on it. It has a dark brown wash to it, bringing out the texture very nicely. The ponytail looks good. It's sculpted really nicely, but it's really glossy. You can see uh, there in the light that it's super glossy. If it wasn't for that, I think it would look really good. You get a real chain around her neck that has these emerald keys on it. I thought that was cool. This does have a habit since her shoulders are kind of going downhill a little bit of going behind her back, so you do have to angle it like that. She has some sort of tattoos that's painted on it almost looks like it's printed on, and I don't recall any figures this old using print tech. Uh, where she's branded right here, it actually does have red printed around it. You can see the pixelation around it where it's supposed to look like it's just been freshly burned into her skin. I've never actually seen an old figure like that use the print tech like we have now, so that's pretty crazy. She has a strap running across her chest right there. She has her ruby corset. Sculpted really well, very glossy. I think that actually benefits from uh, being painted in a glossy material. You can see that her arms are bound behind her back with a real rope. I tied it around the munchkin's hand right here. It's just tied around here in these loops. That's pretty cool. As I said, on her left hip, you get the brand there that the munchkin branded her with. It's painted in black and has some red outlining it, making it look freshly burned. And as I said, that uses the print tech. She has her stockings. And it's painted really well. You get a little bit of gray up here at the top and the bottom and some black right here. That looks really good. You can see that this one is down near her ankle. And she has these boots. These boots are painted very well. They also have a slight texturing to them, but that silver paint really stands out. The bottoms here, the platforms are done in a glittery translucent plastic. And this glitter is actually mixed in with the plastic because it's textured. You can feel each of the little sparkles right there. So that's pretty cool. So for the only articulation on these two pieces, Dorothy's head moves side to side, and that's it. I was wrong. There actually isn't any articulation right here. The arms are a separate piece, but they are glued down. So now let's do some size comparisons. So first up, here they are next to the Tin Man. This is an incredible design. This is actually probably the tamest figure in this series. It's, it's not really normal, but it's normal by this series standards. Here she is next to the wizard and his assistant. 
And finally, here she is next to probably the most messed up design out of the figures that I have so far, the Scarecrow. So overall, this is a pretty cool piece, especially if you're into the older, twisted, and controversial McFarlane figures. Just like with Mary Slaughter, this figure is definitely not going to be for everybody. But if you're into this older McFarlane stuff like I am, then I definitely recommend picking it up. I also forgot to mention that this is the variant of Dorothy. This one came without the skirt. There is a standard version that comes with a skirt. It's a very small piece of material. But yeah, there actually is a different version of this one if you want one that's more covered up. So that's my review. If you like this review, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.